Every year, thousands of pounds of cocaine wash ashore onto our beaches, and now researchers say they think sharks are coming into contact with the cocaine and actually consuming it. They conducted experiments in the Keys to see if sharks reacted to bales of cocaine. CBS 12's Amber Robb spoke with some researchers in this experiment. She joins us live on Singer Island with what they found and the impact it could have on South Floridians. Amber. Researchers say when you're at the beach, there's no need to worry about doped up sharks that are doped up on cocaine. But they do say you need to be mindful about everything that you do that impacts our environment. Sharks are super curious. They're kind of like puppies. Environmental engineer Tracy Panara was part of an experiment studying sharks' reaction to stimulants and bales that look like cocaine. This was three different experiments to see if sharks recognized uh, cocaine bells, if they were alerted or curious to things that were dropped from planes, and then to see how they reacted to a stimulant. This experiment comes as we see more and more cocaine bales washing ashore our beaches. Just last month, the Coast Guard announced it found over 14,000 pounds of cocaine along a Miami area beach. Those drugs were worth over $186 million. Marine biologist and shark expert Tom the Blowfish Herd says these animals are intelligent. So when large amounts of cocaine are being dropped in the ocean by drug smugglers, it's entirely plausible that it's being consumed by marine wildlife. Sharks don't have hands that they can do anything with. They've just got a mouth. So that's how they try and taste and test everything. And so they're going to go up and take a bite out of this bale and get an absolute snout full of Charlie. Benara and her didn't give sharks cocaine, but they gave them something similar to see their reaction, something like shark nip. We got hold of some concentrated fish meal, this fish powder that uh, would do just that. You know, it would fire up the shark's uh, nose and, and all its chemoreceptors and get it, you know, get it at top speed, really. They say the sharks then acted a little different. Our bubbles usually scare hammers off. So coming right up on us, that's unusual behavior. This was just an experiment, but researchers say they hope people see their findings and talk about them. Eventually, they'd like to do a full-fledged study, but that could take anywhere from a couple months to several years. Reporting live from Singer Island, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News.